Okay, introducing now onto my next special guest on my show, we have Gia Ford uh, joining me on my show just to chat about her latest single and exciting news about doing the tour in England. How are we doing, Gia, today? Welcome to my show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, great to hear it. Great to hear it. I'm good, thanks, yes. Um, and I just wanted to um, to invite you on to talk about one of your uh, latest singles, Doing the Rounds. And But um, I've just done a little bit of research into you. And I know you used to grow, grow up uh, up north in Sheffield, uh, Manchester way. So was that scene always inspirational for you uh, growing up? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's a culture soaked in amazing music, isn't it? I mean, I'm from Sheffield. I went to school in Wilmslow. So Manchester was the city centre uh, that I went to. And it's just an endless list of, of people that have made amazing music in those two cities, isn't it, you know? Yep, great. So, yep. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, and uh, how long um, have you been into music for? Probably, well, I've always been to music as far as I can remember, but uh, I started writing and performing when I was about 14. So oh. it's been uh, 13 years. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And um, on to the present moment now. Um, I know you, uh, you have a new single out called Poolside. That's a nice name for a song. Yes, it is a nice name. It's not as nice as it sounds, though, lyrically. It's a bit dark. Ah, I was about to say, um, would it be a nice song to play by the by the, the swimming pool in the summertime, you know, when, when you're having a nice cocktail? It's quite, it's quite a nice therapeutic song. Yeah, I guess you could look at it that way, yeah, mm. for sure. And where did the inspiration for Paul's side come from? It was a photo book, like a coffee table book, and um, it was just a photography from 60s Los Angeles, and it was just... Lots of people by their pristine pool sides. Um, and yeah, the song's about a pool boy who works at their imagined character. And uh, he doesn't, he's, he feels a bit um, like a invisible in his world. So it's just about his emotions and it's from his perspective, really. Nice. And having a quick listen to it, you probably heard it before. It reminds me of uh, Lana Del Rey in places, maybe a bit Billie Eilish as well. That's very, two very nice references. Thank you. Cool. And I like the different instrumentations on the track as well. I had to go into my childhood memories. Um, classroom instruments. Am I right? There's a clacker on there. Nice to hear that sound again. Yeah, there, there is a castanet. Yeah. Ah, brilliant. And mm-hmm. do you like experimenting with different sounds like in the studio? Yeah, the guy that produced it here is called Tony per- Tony Berg. And um, he, he had a room at Sound City Studios, but I'm not sure if you know it. It's quite iconic in L.A. And uh, he had every kind of instrument from the castanets and he had a bull roarer. I don't know if you know what that is. Mm. You like spin it over your head and it creates this. Um, it's it's actually for bulls. It's for, you know, herding bull. Um, but it creates this alien sound. So, yeah, he's he's. He was perfect for that oh. weird sound experimentation. Oh, it's fascinating. And on that day when you were in the studio, was it like uh, being like a kid running right in a candy shop, you know, with all the different instruments, you know, you can pick up and play? Yeah, it was a bit um, It was a bit daunting at first because it's such an iconic studio and I, you sort of ask yourself, how did I get here and I, do I belong here? But um, but once I got over that, it was exactly like that, a kid in the candy shop. Mm, nice and this song as well um would you categorize it as alternative if you had to or is it just um yes oh, okay um is that yeah the, i think is, so is that the audience that you try to uh, capture yeah i'm not I, I there's a a level of pop that i'm willing to delve into but it's it's not very deep into mm. pop um <laughs> so it's got it's it's pop in the way that it has hooks and it's memorable melodically but um yeah, I'd, I'd identify better with uh, alternative. That's uh, that's fair enough. And um, how essential is it to have your own individuality, yeah, just being yourself? Um, it is pretty... I mean, that's that's everything, really, isn't it, mm. for, a, for an artist? Is what you're doing, you're expressing something that is particular to you. So um, it's it's central to the whole mm. business, I think. And uh, G- Gia, um, Gia Ford, is that your real name? Hmm. It's almost as if you know that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> is it a pseudonym, uh, no, would you say, a, s- a stage name? It's a stage name, yeah. Stage it's name. just something that, um, yeah, it just goes goes better with, like, literally, it's just an aesthetic thing. Yeah. It just goes nicely. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I know where many artists use different names anyway. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And marketing got, tool. Yes, yeah. Good. No, good. Good. Um, you have some exciting shows coming up as well, um, including Brighton as well. That's a place which is close to your heart. 
Yeah, it is. I used to live there. I lived there for about three years, mm. two or three years. Ah. Um, so I very rarely go back there. But um, it's, yeah, it'd be really nice to be back there for a bit. Mm. And when this interview is recorded, am I right, you're going to be there on the uh, 18th of um, March as yeah. well as the Great Escape Festival yeah. in May? Yes, you're right about both of those things, yeah. Great. And um, what do you like about Brighton as well? A good place to visit as well um, for someone who hasn't never been before. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. It's a great day out. Um, there's, the lanes are absolutely gorgeous. There's lots of little cafes and there's, I don't know if it's still there, but there was a falafel place called We Heart Falafel and it's just the best place ever to eat. Um, it's it's wonderful. And the seafront is all, it's pebbles, but it's um, really, it's bracingly cold, but really, really beautiful. And yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone. And amazing. Uh, you're in Birmingham as well. You ever been to, um, well, my neck of the woods? Yeah. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, I don't know what day it is, but we are going, we are, we'll be popping by. Um, I think it's maybe the 17th or something. I can't remember exactly what day it is. You probably know. Yes, I believe it's the 19th, but uh, yeah. 19th. And, day, yeah, yeah, yes. Um, and what do you think of the music at, at the moment? Um, who, who are you listening to right now? Oh, I've got so many people on my, um, let me have a look. <laughs> I am always I, I listen to mostly old music. Um, so at the moment, I when I was put, I put a playlist together for the tour, and every city I add a new artist that's from that city onto the playlist. So I remembered David Gray, who I'd covered a lot as a child. So I've been listening to his White Ladder record again. I've been listening to um, quite a lot of um, uh, PJ Harvey at the moment. Um, some Deftones, some. Sinead O'Connor stuff like that oh, it's just very you know it's, it has, it's all it's all over the place yeah <laughs> Not a, a nice eclectic mix as well um I know um yes I know David Gray. I was thinking about this the other day yeah, when I said to someone, what will be, will be. And they always says Doris Day. But I was referencing yeah, uh, yeah, David Gray, yeah. Sail Away with uh, What Will Be, Will Be. Brilliant. Cool. And, yeah, um, I love that song. It's brilliant. How do you see yourself in five years' time just uh, keeping going, doing what you do? Yeah, I, I'm trying to take it moment by moment and not expect too much from anything or from myself and just... Um, just have fun and hopefully I the goal is to just be as free as possible with writing music mm. and um just honoring myself as much as possible mm. in that regard and uh yeah hopefully it's sort of the same thing that's happening now but on um much more frequent level yeah great answer there best way to uh, do that take, take it on a weekly basis yeah um, for sure and um I, mean, I know you mentioned Brighton as well um have you had um, a pleasure of uh, playing one of your favourite venues of you've ever visited, like you know, in in your career, uh, in Brighton, yeah, Brighton, or um, it could be elsewhere at Brighton, like in the UK or world. Um, I haven't played that many shows, you know, altogether. Mm. I think it's my fourteenth show of all time with my band uh, tonight. So, um, I haven't played any of my dream venues yet, but I think when we go to uh, women do the Europe leg of this tour, mm. we're gonna play Paradiso which would be amazing. Um, so, and, yeah. And, and the Roundhouse in Camden, maybe? I would love to play that. You're right. I would really love to play Roundhouse. It would be beautiful. I'd also, weirdly, even though I'm from Sheffield, I've never played the Lead Mill. And, uh, I'd love to do that from just on a personal level mm. as well. And finally, do you, have a life, do you have any life mottos, you know, adages, as they say? Yeah. Uh, I don't, not that I would go off, but I guess in this moment... Um, it's not very neat. It's not, you know, worded particularly well. But I, at the moment, I'm resonating with um, just the idea of uh, not compromising for people with your creative work and um, just doing what you believe. It's, you know, that's that's. There will amazing. be a nice motto for that somewhere. Mm -hmm. I shall dig it out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and one final question that I forgot to ask you. You are back on tour supporting Marika Hackman in March. How did that come about? Uh, she's on the same record label as me. I think that was the connection. And um, But I've, I've, I've known about her since I was a teenager. I used to listen to some of her early stuff when I was a teenager. So, um, yeah, it's really, really nice. It's, it, it's a really nice thread. We've 
there's some similarities there she's got some grotesque lyrics that she likes to use and so do I um so yeah that's the connection just chrysalis really great well um looks like you're going to have a, a lot of exciting fun on the road and hope my listeners will uh, catch you I know I know I'm scheduled Absolutely. to come and see you in Birmingham so uh, yeah a show where oh great yeah show some support you know to original artists I think it's more important than ever to uh, to do it really I agree with you 100 mm. percent Oh, I'll see you there then. Yeah, see you there. And we'll get your record played on my show now. Pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for answering my questions. Brilliant. Thank you.